Helko's troops have overtaken us. Brother, lead them to us. Do not worry. Yeah. The Alliance had destroyed the ambition of Dong Zhuo. Still, the Han remained powerless as each Lord began to dream his own dreams of conquest and power. In the year 200, Cao Cao defeats Yuan Shao and gains control over the Central Plains. Supreme power rests in his hand, and his forces grow tremendously. Cao Cao works to bring the entire land under his control. In 208, he personally leads his men south to Jing. After years of wandering, Liu Bei had finally come to rest in Jing. Now he must find a way to escape the overwhelming force soon to reach him. Welcome back folks to more Dynasty Warriors. Last time we overthrew the tyrannical Dong Zhuo and restored some form of order to the chaotic Imperial Court. Because unity doesn't last forever in our terrible world, we're on the run from Cao Cao who's now turned on us. Some historical things happen in the Battle of Changban. Firstly, Zhang Fei with his sheer might managed to halt off Wei forces. That allowed Liu Bei to escape to safety. Xiao Yun rescued the infant heir to the Shu Empire, Liu Shan, and also Guan Yu reunited with his beloved brother, Liu Bei. This marks the beginning of the Three Kingdom Divide of ancient China, and it also marks the first step towards the Wu and Shu alliance against Cao Cao. Cao Cao is now becoming a dominant force in ancient China, and he seeks to destroy Liu Bei before he's allowed to bloom and flourish. So the big question is, can we escape to safety? You're going to find out. Will Xu Ge Liang's menacing fan kill Cao Cao's troops? You're going to very much find out. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Another notable thing is, is that Xu Ge Liang is historically supposed to be present in the Battle of Changban, so that's one good thing for us. And also, the Battle of Changban represents the growing influence of Liu Bei in ancient China. His benevolence and virtue has really won the minds and souls of the people. In comparison to Wei, which is pursuing a more relentless, you know, war against the people, where Wei seeks to establish order through ruthless aggression and Wu is more based on, I'd say, family values and unity. So Cao Cao is kind of portrayed as the villain here, even though he's got his own merits, but we'll focus on that another time. One thing to do in the Battle of Changban is to try and locate Lu Shan. If you do, you get one whole minute of free Mu Shao power, so it's worth picking up. Yeah, he's not supposed to be here, Guan Yu. He arrives later on, but hey, Dynasty Warriors 2 wasn't the most accurate in the series. Go! 
All right, things are looking really bleak at the moment, so we better make our run to safety as soon as possible. It seems that the legendary fan of Shuge Liang is finally being overwhelmed.
Shut up. 
As you can see, it's utter carnage right now. We've got wave after wave of wave force driving onto us. It's just myself, my bodyguards, and Zhang Fei. Pretty much as the history dictates. It's quite fun actually, just being a handful of you versus this huge wave. Of course, the blessings all go to Zhuge Liang's fan though. I mean, without the fan, we're nothing, right? Well hey, reinforcements have finally arrived. I am going to try and search for Lu Shan if I can before the battle is over. But as you can see, 314 soldiers have fallen victim to Zhu Geliang's fan. That is an incredible achievement. It's utterly unprecedented, folks. Are you fucking being serious? I just can't get on my horse. Shut up! 
Right, there he is folks, this is meant to be Liu Shan. Let's get with this fucking annoying trooper here. We can then focus on Liu Shan. Please go away, I'm really busy right now. Oh what it's gone! Well, well, folks, what do we have here? We've got the infant Liu Shan himself. It's quite creepy and a bit abusive to put your infant son into a box, but all right, what the heck. That's Liu Shan. Let's get him and get out of here. Okay, so I was wrong. You get 2,000 points. You don't get the one-minute Musao. They changed that in Dynasty Warriors 4, I think it was. So yeah, what the heck. We've got Liu Shan now, so the future of Xu is now secure. Let's defeat Cao Cao and get out of Changban and into Wu.
Finally, I've defeated Cao Cao. He's always such a pain to defeat. Goodbye and good riddance. And typically, Xu Ge Liang's major fan has won the day. Well, that was one heck of a battle. A lot happened. We lost some troops. I lost my horse. We recovered Liu Shan, and Liu Bei escaped to safety within the safety of Wu. Thanks very much for watching, and I shall catch you all in the next episode. Have a great, psychotastic rest of the week. See you next time. Bye bye.